What's up, you guys? It's Read Some Energy. And this is the highest white light. What is the message? Archangel Gabriel, Archangel Gabriel, give me the words to say. Don't forget to like and subscribe, you guys. Love you. What's it gonna be? Cycles. Everything has its right time. Honor the cycles of your body. Tune into the moon's magic. That's really interesting because once I started doing this reading, my stomach started to hurt right here. And I just felt like somebody needed to drink some water. Maybe I need to drink some water, but okay. Express your individuality. Allow your true self to shine because you're awesome. Don't you love this picture of the unicorn? Oh, I just love it. The butterflies. It's all purple and pretty. Hmm. Okay, so, all right, so we have kind of like a stomach ache. I just heard the word invalidating. Huh. Maybe somebody's afraid to be themselves. Because that would be a, like a solar plexus chakra pain that would be like linked to your uh, root chakra. So maybe somebody needs some... Um, I'm hearing carnelian, but I was going to say citrine um, and or red jasper. Tiger's eye, too, is really good. Mmm, rebirth. Reinvent yourself. Give life to your dreams. Create a new reality. Reinvent yourself. Maybe somebody's afraid to reinvent themselves. I'm feeling this because I'm feeling like this dread. It's like somebody's afraid to reinvent themselves because it was hard enough to invent themselves is what I'm hearing. Somebody's the black sheep. Okay. We got a black sheep. What else? Spirit answers for the highest white light. Okay. We got a black sheep who needs some carnelian and maybe some tiger's eye and some tree and strength. Okay, so this, whatever this experience is, something that took away from your solar plexus chakra, helped you to build some strength and I also feel like it helped you to um, integrate your shadow side. Uh, there can be no light without dark. Understand the law of polarity. This challenge will make you stronger or I think it has made you stronger. Or Actually, now what I'm hearing is Stepping into your individuality is in your authenticity is going to make you so much stronger. But it's like, man, it's like stepping into your strength takes strength. But then once you step into that strength, it's so empowering. So you really just need to take the first step. All right. I think somebody also is an indigo and a channel and somebody who is used to speaking the truth to people. And honestly, sometimes people like that and sometimes they don't like it. Honestly. Well, honestly, most people like it and then they don't, they love it and they hate it, really. They love it because it's good for their soul, but they hate it because it, the ego hates it, right? So basically, the soul loves it, the human doesn't like it, you know, it's fucked up, right? If you know, you know. Meditate and contemplate. Meditate and contemplate. New moon of Pisces. Got Pisces energy here. And again, with the yin-yang and the polarity, what's up, you guys? Right? So we're, we're integrating, we're integrating some energy, some dark and light energy. And there's nothing, the dark energy helps protect us, right? The dark energy that we integrate helps protect us. Um, if integrated properly, what else? Spirit answers to the highest white light. If integrated with love, right? And you guys remember that if somebody does not respect your boundaries, that's probably the type of person that you're, you're wanting to set boundaries with, okay? That's what I'm hearing. Your wish is granted. What you've asked for is coming true. What did you wish for? Let me know in the comments. No, I'm just kidding. Don't tell me. Because a dream is a wish your heart makes. I don't know why I'm singing that, but apparently, I don't know. Don't they say if you tell your wish it won't come true? Keep it to yourself. Hold on to your vision. Show the world the real you. Again, full moon in Aquarius. Express your individuality. Maybe somebody needs to just meditate and, and realize who they are and, and kind of figure out 
you know, that they're amazing. Strong. I think that anyone who can see your boundaries as strength is a good person. Okay, that's what I'm hearing. That's also what I believe because I think if you get it, you get it, you know? This might be a time for healing. Um, count your blessings and enjoy life. Yeah, maybe now is like a time for pleasure. Take your pleasure, take pleasure in the simple things. Always expect the best. Yeah, I feel like maybe somebody needs a little more pleasure in their life. Um, to open up the feelings, the, the sacral chakra. Carnelian also helps with that as well. It, it helps to stimulate the sacral chakra. And it just, it honestly, it makes you feel like that song that I was singing, a dream is a wish your heart makes. That's what it'll make you feel like. Yeah, you'll be like Cinderella waking up, talking to her mice, dancing around with the bluebirds and stuff like that. Yeah, that's, that's what the sacral chakra feels like when it's flowing. Okay, somebody needs to step out of their comfort zone. Intuition. L listen to your intuition. Listen to the whispers of your heart. And maybe get away from some people who are making it difficult for you to be able to listen to the whispers of your heart. I feel like, I feel like your inner intuition is really trying to guide you. And I, but I, I'm also hearing another voice. Like, it's almost like I'm hearing, like... Someone is listening to their intuition, but there's another voice, too, okay? That other voice, you can recognize who that is. I feel like you know who that voice is, and that is a voice that you need to condition out. It could be somebody who raised you. It could be somebody who you were in a relationship with. It could be all of those things. It could be several people, but I feel like you know who the voice is. And I know, I, I, I feel like you know... Um... feel like you know you just got to trust your intuition okay you got to trust and you need to listen more to your voice okay and the more you listen to your voice those other voices will just naturally turn out uh, uh, turn down okay and you won't hear them anymore expect powerful change new moon and or new moon eclipse the answers you need are coming luck is on your side Ooh, yeah Yeah, so I definitely feel like there's something that somebody needs to release. I feel like it's some outdated belief systems that somebody has conditioned into your brain, you know. Um, man, that sucks. Like, shadow work is not easy to do. Because you literally, what I do sometimes is I will just literally, I will, I will either, like, smoke a blunt or I will like burn some lavender on a charcoal disc or something like that that will just get me, like, very relaxed get the nervous system very relaxed and then I, what I will do is I will just go through all of the all of the voices that I'm hearing in my head and I will try to identify where they came from who they belong to and then I just with love say uh, nope that's not for me nope that's not for me nope that's not for me you know what I, mean? I don't know how else to explain it but it's just like you just have to kind of witness them when, and when you witness them they, they just kind of go away Yeah, there's an unhealthy situation, I feel like. Um, somebody needs to leave, and once they leave that, there are going to be some um, doors that are going to open. What else? Choose the path of re least resistance. For, uh, yeah, choose the path of least resistance. Even say that. Universe, I choose the path of least resistance, because that's where you're supposed to flow. That's where you're supposed to go, okay? I choose the path of least resistance. I choose the higher timeline. I'll say that as well. I feel like that's the reading, you guys. I hope that this helps. I hope that you're all doing really, really amazing. Look at Nina. She's so cute. Okay, sending you guys lots of love. 
Thank you so much for being here. Until next time.